Hello and welcome back to another QGIS tutorial. Here I will be creating a stream order map in QGIS using a DEM digital elevation model. Before we begin the tutorial, we should have a clear understanding of an idea on stream order. We have created a separate video with more information on stream order which you can get by following the above link. So now let's get started. First, load the DEM from which we want to generate river and streams. You can practice with the video by downloading the DEM linked in the description as well. So to add the DEM, go to layer and add layer and then select add raster layer and then find this find the DEM file you want to add and that's it. So after getting the DEM in QGIS window, let's check the CRS. In this type of analysis, we need a projected coordinate system. However, we can see that the DEM is already in projected coordinate system. So we don't need to convert the added DEM to the projected one. But if the DEM you are using is not in projected CRS, we suggest you to convert it to the projected one. So now further to that, we will use Saga to fill the sink in added DEM. To do so, navigate to the Saga and select Terrain Analysis Hydrology. Then open the Fill Sync Wang and Liu from here. And then this window will appear. Select the recently added DEM from which we want to create the stream order map here. Save the field, save the field DEM to the location of your choice. To do so, go here and select Save to File. And then navigate to the location where you want to save your field DEM and enter a name. Here I will be giving name as field DEM and then click save over here. After that uncheck both flow direction and water basin because we don't want them right now. So after this press run button. It could be a while depending on the size of the DEM. So friend, we can see the fill DEM and we can uh, observe the change in elevation range as well. Okay, so after filling the sink for stream order, navigate to Saga and then to Terrain Analysis Channel. Select Channel Network and Drainage Basin. Select the file of, on the elevation that is filled DEM. In threshold, I will leave the default is value 5. You can decrease the value up to 1 for more detailed stream or increase the value for only major streams. Accept the channel, uncheck flow direction, uncheck flow connectivity, uncheck strata order, uncheck drainage, drainage basin and uncheck junction as well. Because we don't want any of these analysis, remember to check the channel, okay? So after that, save the channel by and channel save the channel data by clicking here and then on save to file after you have found your destination location give the file name and save it like this and press run it could take some time depending on the size and the uh, resolution of the dm the higher resolution dm with the larger spatial area coverage will take a longer time so friend, now we can see the streams. Now let's have a look on attribute table. First right click on the properties of newly generated channel and select attribute table. We can see the, uh, we can see the selection ID to length here. The stream order is described by this order over here. We can see the order value of individual stream over here. Let's build a proper stream order map layout now. For this, check on DEM and right click on DEM and click on properties. Navigate to the symbology tab and under the render type, pick single band pseudo color. Here in, in interpolation, choose linear and then choose your favorite color ramp. And after that, click on classify and then click OK. So after this, let's, let's add a 3D effect or more technically a hillside effect for proper visualization of the topography. To do this, 
go to raster and analysis then he'll said select the DEM in input layer and then click run after some time you can get a he'll said over here so now move it to the top layer order just down to the stream and then go to he'll said's properties and in transparency section decrease it to 15 percent and click ok as a result we can see some 3d effect here now why not label the stream with their order number and change the color of each stream as well so to label the stream over uh, uh, stream order go to channel click over here and select properties and go to label click here in no label and select single label in value click over here and select order as in the attribute table the order represents the stream order number in size i will be giving six value because i don't want larger font you can even customize more from this window for now i will click here in apply and finally ok so friend we can see the label in every individual stream here so now let's set the unique color to every stream order for this right click on the channel and go to properties and symbology over here select the categorized and in value again select the order and click here to classify here we can we can change the width of the stream order also it's for the requirement for this double click here and change the value in width it i will give value one okay even we can change the color manually from this window for this click on color and select the preferred one and finally press ok so let us repeat this step in fifth order as well double click on this line here and change the color from here like this and change the width from here like this and press ok and after customizing as per the requirement press apply and finally ok here order of layers should be exactly like this if not arrange the order of the layer from here by simply simply dragging up or down so after planning everything here let's move to the print layout for this select project and then go to the new print layout here you can give it a name i will type stream now click ok this new print layout will window will pop off now go to add an item select add map and left click and hold on top left corner and move the cursor to the bottom right corner then release we will get a map here finally determine the extent size of the map layout we can select and move the whole item uh, by clicking here let me fix it to this size so after this let's let's fix the item to the map by fixing the scale of the map okay so go go to item properties and on scale type the matching one the less value means more detail you may try multiple time to find the perfect scale like this and if you are a beginner to qgis it may take some more time okay so after this uh, if you click over here you can move the map only here let me move the map to the perfect location so now let's add a north arrow for this go to add item and click on north arrow after that uh, to your preferred location left click and hold and drag on either side according to the preferred size of the north arrow for scale go to add item and select scale bar and repeat the same process and for legend go to add item and click on add legend here we have unnecessary legend also so modify as the need here 
select the legend in the item and in item property scroll a bit down and you will find legend items uncheck an auto update here now remove the unnecessary legends for this hold control and select all the item except the channel and after selecting all the item except the channel click here in red minus sign You can change the name of your preferred one from here. Just double click here. I will be typing stream orders. Now let us add a grid also. For this uh, select map in the item, scroll down and you will find a grid and then click on grid here. After that click on green plus button here and add on uh, and on grid one select modify grid. Here in the interval, give the value on X and Y at least divisible by 20 of the scale value. To know the scale value, go to back and scroll up here. In the main properties, you can see 25,000. So back to grid. Here in X value, give the value divisible by 20 uh, of the scale value that is 1250 and same in the y value you can change the value here like this let me put thousand on x and thousand on y but you cannot change the value much okay for example if you type one lakh or only if you type hundred you won't get a, a desired result and uh, here you can uh, you notice the gapping of x and y in the image in uh, it depends upon your preference okay after this, scroll down, find the draw coordinate and check on draw coordinate. Here we can see the horizontal coordinate taking lots of space on the both left and right part. So let us change them to vertical. For this, go to left and in horizontal select vertical ascending. Again go to right and in horizontal select vertical ascending. Okay. After this, we are ready to extract the image file. For this, go to layout and select export as an image. And select the destination and give the image a name. I will be giving final image and then click on save. Now this window will appear and in export option, give the export resolution. Here I will be I will keep 300 dpi default as 300 is a decent dpi for a good quality image and click on save and we are done here we can see the saved image okay keep in mind that the stream order we prepared is of strala order that's all uh, hope you enjoyed the video for any sort of problem you can comment in the comment section like and share the video subscribe the channel for the best qgs tutorial and select in uh, and lectures in special analysis have a good time happy learning